tamatu, tamaora, tamamoe, tamamate. To stand is to live, to lie down is to die. This famous Māori proverb illustrates the importance of using our hands and our feet to stay active and look after our body and well-being. Sadly, for our elderly population, there's a major fear that prevents them from being active and looking after their health and well-being. That fear is literally falling. What is a fall? The World Health Organization defines a fall as an unexpected event that results in an individual coming to rest on a ground or a floor. They've done extensive research and they've found that falls are the second leading cause of accidental injury deaths worldwide. In New Zealand, up to 60% of individuals aged 65 and over will experience a fall. That is a large number. In New Zealand, every year, to manage falls and fall-related injuries, it costs our country over $350 million. The sad thing about falls is that it strikes fear into the hearts of the elderly. It prevents them from being active and looking after their health and well-being. The deadly thing about falls is that it can happen at any time, at any place. So what if we could predict falls? What if we knew when a fall was likely to happen? And what if we could warn that individual and so that they can take the necessary steps to prevent that fall from happening? Well, that is all possible through the technology of wearable motion and velocity sensors. These sensors, you can wear them around your wrist or your, around your hip uh, or around your ankles. And they're very similar to the technology that we currently already have. That is on our smartphone. So when you're wearing them and you're moving, they're able to uh, detect your uh, change in velocity, how fast you're moving. They're able to detect your stride length. They're able to detect how many steps you're taking. They can also sense your heart rate and whether you're in a domestic setting, so example in your home or whether you're outside. These individual variables are important because they all have individual risks for a fall. So what these sensors do is that they take all, these, all this information from these variables and they put it all together in one place and then it analyzes it. And then it puts that individual into certain groups. For example, low risk, moderate risk, or a high risk for a fall. So let's use an example here. Say an elderly person inside their retirement home is moving around and they're shuffling and they're shuffling quite fast. They're moving at a high velocity and their stride length is quite small and they've got a high heart rate. And because they're inside their house, they've got a lot of obstacles. The, these sensors can detect all of that and it puts this individual in the high risk category for a fall. And therefore, this is important because that individual can then take the necessary steps to prevent this fall from happening. For example, they can prevent, or they can reduce the velocity, they can slow down, or they could hold on to something while moving, or they can simply sit down and take a short break. This is important because it will reduce the likelihood of experiencing a fall or reduce the likelihood of experiencing injuries that are associated with these falls. Although research has shown that these sensors are highly accurate in predicting when a fall will happen, there's one limitation is that there's a small, very small possibility that these sensors can produce false positive results. But this is something that can be improved and worked on for future. So that's the technology and how it works. And there are some clear economic benefits involved here. If we can prevent falls and fall-related injuries, we can save New Zealand each year in the excess of $300 million. That's a lot of money to be saved here. We can, the second thing is that we can um, also reduce out-of-pocket spending for the elderly. The last thing that we want for our elderly population during their retirement is for them to worry and stress over financial bills and medical payments that come with these stress uh, uh, for related injuries. So through this technology, we'll be able to reduce and um, cut out that financial burden. There are also social benefits. 
by removing, but through this technology, we can remove it, we can remove the uh, fear that comes with falls. And therefore, we can enable our elderly population to be more active and to look after their health and well-being. Through this technology, we can give elderly people more control over their life and their health. And we can make them more connected to not only themselves, but to the people and environment around them. Also through this technology, we can reduce hospitalizations that come with these injuries and reduce the need for major surgery and medications. So we can prevent our elderly people from going through the trauma of major surgery and the uh, side effects that come with all these medications. If you think about it, all the surgical and medical equipment that's needed to treat all the thousands of people with uh, fall-related injuries, it's a ton. And that means there's a ton of medical-related waste. So by preventing falls and fall-related injuries, we can reduce the carbon-related medical waste and we can reduce our carbon um, footprint overall. So in conclusion, through this technology, we'll be able to give our elderly people more control over their life and their health. And the best thing that I like about this technology is that we'll enable our elderly people to live healthier, more fulfilling, and more meaningful lives in the future. Thank you.